wow, take a look at these unblemished planets. What they need is a great big wonder plunked on it. Here, in the Seven Wonders of Starbound, with me, Jamie, from Randomized User. Good old spoiler ape over here. Um, so we start on our ship. This is probably going to be a multi-part wonder, and part one of our third wonder. And it's going to be an aqueduct of some description, or a viaduct. Um, basically like a, a great big bridge that crosses a valley. Um, but I was thinking about doing a viaduct, and then someone in the Discord suggested um, to, something to do with the floating islands, and I thought, aye aye, let's combine the two. And so we'll have a, have a little sort of like a um, floating aqueduct, viaduct, or something like along those lines. And I think that might make it a bit more kind of spacey, because our previous two wonders have been based on original earthbound wonders, the, um, the, the, the rusting gardens based on the hanging gardens, and then there was a lighthouse based on the great lighthouse of Alexandria. Uh, so I thought this time, let's make it a bit more spacey, a bit more sci-fi. As ever, I've got admin on, just so we don't have to stare at um, dark screens and things like that. And it means we can get whatever the hell we want. Uh, so the, the reason why I'm above a scorched planet is because, um, well, I haven't been on a scorched planet. I'm actually, I don't think I've ever had a build on a scorched planet. And the, the best thing about these places is the background is absolutely amazingly strange. It's very rain world. Uh, let's actually get up in the air. Have I actually got my explorer pod anymore? I've just repaired it. I was wondering whether I actually accidentally left it behind or something. But if we go up in the air and have a bit of a look around... Look at this background. This is a great background. Piss off. And so I thought if you put like a floating island, it would have to be on a scorched planet and have this wonderful background. Uh, and then have some kind of, um, say, a viaduct plonked on top. Not quite sure how it's all going to be achieved, but it should be interesting finding out. Say hello to mate. Hello, mate. I'm sure I've seen you somewhere before. Yes, you probably watch my incredibly successful videos on Rimworld. No, not Rimworld. <laughs> uh, actually, Starbound. Um, anyway, so we'll do it somewhere around here, I guess. And um, it's already going dark. I think this is, um, um, from what little I know of this particular planet, after just, like, beaming down about ten minutes ago before the video, it does seem to have quite a long day-night cycle, so I'm time warping... Oh, no. We're going to have particles. Particle man, particle man. Uh, okay, so... I don't know what we're going to make this out of, but if it's going to be a floating island, maybe just stick to a fairly generic, kind of like a dirt one. But, hmm. Well, we could fall back on our rock bricks. Uh, we tried to use these in the lighthouse build, but they didn't look great. And But I'm thinking maybe if we're actually going to build an island, uh, we may do something along those lines. But I think, first of all, what we should do is have... You know what? I'd normally scaffold up using dirt, but it occurs to me it would be much more sensible to use this. Because this means this makes it multiple use so we can use it as a ladder in future rather than keep you know, keep on stacking up so i don't know how high this is going to be but i want it so the background is peak cool well this is starting to get to about the right level i think dirt oh, what the hell this is rocky stuff so floating island this is um, the, the way I've got this pictured in my head, it's going to be like a... Hello. Oh no, it's, it's another place where the sand is going to be falling all over the place. Um, maybe if we actually take advantage of that and make it into sandy islands. Here's what we'll do. We'll make the um, the top of it sand. And then maybe it'll go into dirt, and then it'll be, maybe it'll go into rock. And then maybe it'll have vines dangling. Um, someone mentioned, I think, for the um, uh, one of the previous builds, that we should have vines. Uh, and I was thinking about those ones that you can actually um, harvest resources. But there's also... Just a regular vine block as well. Uh, which, if you just like do background and foreground and... Why can't... Hang on, let's get a bit closer. Can I just not see that? It just didn't seem to be catching for whatever reason. Oh, it is there! It's just really, really dark. But something along those lines. Um, I think it would be rather good, but it, it does strike me that it, it doesn't really make a huge amount of sense unless it's coming from dirt. Uh, so, maybe the bottom layer is the dirt layer. What's that? Pile of mossy stones. Oh, yeah, I was experimenting with some of the unobtainable items uh, that you can get in Starbound. And this is a weird one. Um, I'm not going to be able to demonstrate this very well. I'm actually going to change the time, which will change the weather as well. Oh, wow. There we go. That's why I like it. So, if you place these down... Oh, hang on. <laughs> I need some more room. Bloody sand. If you place this down, uh, you can just about maybe 
you probably really can't, but it actually generates clouds. Very, very faint clouds. And this is supposed to be like a, a bit of a cheat thing that you used by the devs to actually add cloud in the Arctic, no, no, the, um, the Alpine biome. So it's a nice little cheat there, but if I, do, I might find use of that at some point. But anyway, it's not, it's not got a graphic because it's, it's purely a dev thing. Anyway, let's, um, where's my dirt? So if we have, um, I'm going to just give it all the vines for now. Let's use my fish axe with drops. And yes, so we, oh, <laughs> never mind. Where's my dirt? There it is. So the bottom layer, I guess, will therefore be dirt. Uh, we don't want really much of this because it's boring old dirt. And so I guess we have one floating island with arch. In fact, we just make one big floating island here and have them. Um, it has to be a valley, so like a, it's going to be a floating island valley. Uh, have an aqueduct over it. In fact, we could actually make an actual aqueduct, like with water. Um, we don't really want trains going over this at the top because I don't think there are any without mods. But if we had. Mm, if we had water, we could possibly have some kind of infinite spring or some pipes or something like that. And then there'll actually be a reason for this wonder to exist. Inevitably, this is going to be fairly ruined, I think. So we will actually probably be adding um, vines or those other plant matters around it like we did in the previous build. Like I always do in these builds because it does look rather cool. Uh, anyway, let's, um, let's now turn it into kind of a rock just here. I don't know why I'm doing it. Is maybe this is actually maybe this is the exact bottom of the valley. Then uh, I'm guessing we'll need to have some water in here, uh, and then the archers, the archers' legs. Let's let's demonstrate this. I'm not going to. Don't worry, I'm not going to use sandstone. I know, I know we keep on starting the builds with sandstone and then abandoning it, but this is just purely for example. But the legs would probably go up like this. Um. Let's see, let's have four. I'm just doing. I'm doing it this way just so if I am. Kind of like hanging out in the bottom of the valley. I can actually walk underneath and it'll all be lovely. At this rate, I'm actually going to use these bloody things, aren't I? Anyway, I don't really I'm not sure if I really want yellow. I kind of like want it to be red. Because well, I, I like the idea of it fitting with the background. Having said that, the yellow is quite cool. But I don't really want sandstone. That doesn't really make a huge amount of sense. Um, right, okay. I'm probably going to take a little bit off. In fact, what I will do is I will make it a bit scaffoldy. Um, go down a bit. For now, I think this will be a very, very sensible indeed idea. Indeed. <laughs> yeah. Put those words into the correct order. And win a Skoda! Right, so. Then the dangly things will come, kind of like come down here. Some of it's going to be the background, some of it's not. Like that. That's going to be the background, I think, because that's annoying. In fact, we'll have it... We'll have it doubling up like that. And done like that. So something like that, that's pretty. All very lovely. It's just that dirt is just so boring. <laughs> Never mind. So then, the the idea of this was to actually then turn it into sand. We haven't actually got much sand. Um, I'll have to, obviously, cheat some in. Oh, hello. Um, trouble with this is the moment it's starting to... It, there's no real benefit of having that layer in the middle now, is there? Because that just looks a bit peculiar. Uh, I wonder... Yeah, it needs to be all kind of, like, vaguely thematic. I don't really want it to be just sand. Look, there's a really irritating dot up there. <laughs> Looks like a dead pixel, but it does actually move. God knows what that is. Maybe it's a maybe it's a small moon, a very small moon, the size of a tennis ball that just orbits orbits the planet at a height of like twenty meters. Probably not. So I have to think about this. But for now, I think I'll just be putting down my bits and bobs, and then we'll have ourselves the startings of a build. About ten minutes into the video. So I'll stick to having no rocky layer, but I will have kind of bung in a few things like that just to sort of like um, add a bit of just add a bit of extra stuff. I also kind of like want to add in a bit of 3 d edge, kind of like here, so it does look like yeah, well, 3D really, just a bit. Like that 
top side, I kind of like want a background because there will be liquid of some description, probably water. I don't really see any reason to have like lava or anything, but whatever. And I'm thinking about getting changing the legs into. Oh, <laughs> can't have it in the background there because it's some already there, isn't it? And I packed dirt because they're a bit more. They fit in with the colours that we've chosen, which are a bit, of like, a bit kind of like brownish yellow. Um, but I think I'll do. So, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe that'll be the thing. But I don't know how tall these are. Ooh, hello. <laughs> I don't know how tall this is going to need to be. But what, what I kind of like want it to do is kind of make its way. So, the, the land will kind of go up there. And eventually, it'll be a. It'll meet the top of the bridge. Or the viaduct, whatever you want to call it. I wonder if there's like any percentage in how, having sort of. Um... No, you don't really see that, do you? Not in real life. Let's give it to that. It's got to be. It's got to be completely <laughs> real. There's also a, the. Uh, why is it even floating? I mean, it's, a, it's a wonder, but why is it floating? Um, and so, I'm just wondering what, how we can do that. I thought about using, like, um, um, adminning in some uh, propellers from the airship to, get, to give it a kind of like a floaty idea. In fact, let's have a go. I think that's some... Um, I think that's literally just propeller. Let's do ten. Nope. No. So maybe I can't do that then. A perfectly generic item. That's a shame. So, I'll have to look that up in a bit. For now, I guess... I mean, do I keep on doing it sand? I think so. I think I'm happy with that. Oh, hang on. Might be getting a bit large. So I'm not quite sure how big... How thick I should make this. But let's actually just put the... Just out of interest, I just want to see how it looks. Let's put the water in now. The music fades away when I do this, when I'm underwater. So that'll only be at the bottom, but there'll also be um, water or some liquid running across the top of the viaduct. Uh, the top of the viaduct, I'm not going to be able to get up there very easily, am I? Unless I do this. Right, let's see if we can time this. <laughs> yes. Um, huh. So, obviously the viaduct top has to be sort of um, a bit of an arch situation. Like that. Yeah, that looks okay. It's a bit like the, um, the rusting gardens with the arch stuff, I guess. Uh, I'll probably change up here to a different material. Probably not cabin roofing. Although... Hmm. It's not really right. It's not quite right. Let's try the other stuff. Copper roofing. For some reason, I've always got some copper roofing in my inventory. Maybe a, maybe a sort of metallic sort of feel. Maybe for the whole thing, maybe? Hmm. This does warrant further investigation, I think. But for now, I'll just um, add a bit more of this. Alright, so here we go. I've um, done a bit more. Decided, trying to work out exactly where I need to go up to. I can't actually see the left one. Oh, there they are. I'm going to change the, the copper roofing. That was terrible. Uh, it turns out I, sp I was spelling propeller wrong, by the way. It's actually got an E at the end. Ish. So it's propeller. Hmm. Apparently that's... Is that decorative or... Hang on, let's take myself out of admin. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It's deadly to the touch. So I'm um, kind of don't. I'm wondering maybe, maybe instead of trying to put it on the base, uh, maybe put it on the the top. In fact, let's go up in the air. Up, 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 up. There, we need them. Um, we need some kind of. So haven't quite worked it out yet. But if we're going to put one level of water up here, we could put the propeller on top of that. Fortunately, irritatingly, it's not symmetrical. Hmm. I'm wondering whether I should actually completely change every single one of these just to make it symmetrical. I'm prepared to do that. 
have to do all this again now. Da, 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 da. Easily destroyed all my hard work. Never mind. Up. There. The one true pillar on the left is fine. This is not. There we go. It's raining crap. Apparently there's a ruler mod you can get. I think Supreme Copter suggested that. Also in the Discord. One, two, three, four. Oh, it doesn't, <laughs> it's exactly the same. I'm doing that. It's a holographic ruler sort of thing. Which does actually look quite a, use, like, a useful little thing. Right. So, five instead of four. Oop, careful. And we'll also need... In fact, we probably could make it a bit more, even more archy now. Yeah, that's a bit more. Yeah, okay. Then this... Oh, flidge! <laughs> it's got rope. Ah! No. Stay there. Stay there, spoiler ape. Whatever happened to Deathstalk? Oh, no. Alright, let's go across here. And that's now kind of like nicely... In the right place. Why have I got 107? <laughs> it's a bit rogue. And then we'll, I'll change the, I'll change this because we don't, we can get, we can get, we can get rid of that. Uh, and I need something that's a bit more kind of like um, like maybe your Nate Wood. I wonder if I've actually got some of that still. Don't think so. I probably will actually. Oh, hmm. I haven't actually put a teleporter yet. I may have actually put them all in, all the various assorted stuff that I don't need anymore in here. Ornate flooring. Possibly. I'm not 100% keen on the on the whole wood thing. I feel like it needs to be metallic. How about a Gerda? Maybe a Gerda. Let's find some use for Gerda. Candy block. Mm. More bloody cabin roofing. More bloody metal bars. Oh, we need pipe. And I'll, be, I'll spawn some more in there later at some point. Oh, we definitely need more chain, of course. So we can have some dangly change as per every single build. A bit more junk. We don't want any metal rear. We don't want rusty metal again. No composite rail. Um, well, since we're here, let's see if there's any kind of like useful looking horizontal type things that don't look like what we've already used before. Ooh! Ledge brick. That looks tasty. Looks legendary in its legginess. I mean, a lot of that. 900 to be precise. Any more of that would be just, well, rampant. Right, where the bloody hell is our build? <laughs> I can't remember. I don't know why I went to the trouble of making a, a thing. I think it was over here. <laughs> is that exactly? I don't know why I bother making that, because then I've got an explorer pod, haven't I? Also, why do I bother doing all that? Hey! Stay there. Right, so now we have our ledge stuff. Was oh, actually this, this wood? Oh, this is actually the ornate flooring. This actually looks okay. We will check. Yeah, I think the one on the left stands out more, doesn't it? I think it needs to stand out without looking wrong. So, ornate wood it is. A wooden viaduct slash aqueduct. Well, it's going to be an aqueduct because it's going to have water in it. Uh, which also means we'll have to have a background as well. Oh, the background of this looks very similar. But it doesn't really matter because it's going to be exactly the same. I mean, it's going to be covered in water, so it doesn't matter if it's exactly the same. So just a just a little proof of concept. Just going to burn some water. I could either use acid... I'll try poison, actually. Because I know how much you like the ooh-ooh sound effects when he's when Spoiler Ape's in pain. I kind of like it the way it, it, it's just a bit kind of like um, peculiar. Deliberately peculiar. It also, I think the colour actually works nicer with the with the ideas of what we're going for than water. So it's going to be like an acid aqueduct. And here's fun. Here's something that um, I'll just proof of concept this whilst we're here. Little structure up there. Yeah, that's going to get very annoying. <laughs> And there's a, there's something that's um you can only you have to spawn in uh, and that's uh, decorative 
drops. Um, which means I can place that on the roof and we get a little rain effect. So what I thought we could do is something like this. I mean, obviously I'm not going to be... Come on. Get down. I think I'm just... Why isn't... I think always the, um, is the actual thing, isn't it? It's the actual... The acid block, the acid drops source thing is actually stopping us. So, if we now place the... That's, that's actually acid. If we now place the acid coming out of the pipes, we actually do have a nice little completely invisible... This needs a lighter background, really. But There we actually have some kind of like a leaky factory type thing. So maybe we should actually do a... Ow. Oh. <laughs> maybe we should do something factory themed... Um, so, like, at either end of the viaduct... <laughs> some paper just flapped past. Either end of the viaduct, we'll have some kind of factory thing. So, look, we'll have one side will be the source, where all the acid is coming down. And at the other end, we'll have what where the acid is actually going, which is... I've no idea where, but... Okay, yep. That's some... Um, I like I like these proof of concepts, because it, like, cements things in... Oh. Fish! Right, so I'm coming along with this. Uh, this is just slow, silent work at the moment. But I think now it's, this is the stage where now it's actually a, lo a lot of actually a lot of it's in place. It's starting to look a bit better, starting to a bit look a bit more like an actual good build rather than just sand. <laughs> but it still remains to be seen what's going on. So we've still got a hell of a lot to do here. Uh, so this will be a definitely a two-parter. Maybe even three, but let's not try not to get too crazy. That'd be madness having a three-part episode. Again. Or will we? No, I probably will. Right, so those are the legs, and then we'll put in some... I don't know how... Maybe I should make the island a bit fatter. I haven't quite decided yet. The trouble is, I don't really want to have to do all that bit, bit again. So I don't really want to go up either, because then this is all going to look a bit kind of too small. I think this is about the right size. It feels the right ratios and stuff like that to be a proper viaduct slash aqueduct. So I think we're going okay. Well, as I say, we'll have to fill up, fill this background up with water. Well, this, we'll have to have a background and then fill it with water, or whatever. And then that'll be rather nice. I think now I need to f definitely need to do some more of this. Not quite sure whether the island should like um get really fat, like it, or whether it should actually stay the same width as it would go around, or whether it should just get fatter and fatter. I'm leaning towards the fatter. So it was just so the island isn't like a weird V shape. So this is gonna require more sun than I've got. I have to spawn in a lot more. Although we do actually we are actually getting to the level of this thing. So let's just try and focus on let's not worry about that, because that's kind of boring stuff. Let's focus on actually getting this across. So we I think it's there. Like this. Oh, well, we've been out of that. Hang on. I think it was packed dirt. Let's go backwards. There we go. Packed dirt. And then we have shit loads more. I've decided to put an iron girder in there. Just to give, give it some structural integrity. Which it so desperately needs. There we go. And that kind of like, um, that meets that bit. And we'll I'll sort something else out there. And then this can go across like this. Okay, well. In fact, I'll just... When you're doing one piece at a time, you, you can only walk. Which is rather irritating. So let's do it like this. And then, of course, there'll all be the nonsense underneath as well. B! It's not a B. Nice. Yes, I think we're nearly there. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to get us into the place. Um, because I've, um, I'm not quite sure. I think we should, if, if we're going to go down here, we should be able to get up. Well, maybe if I have a, like, a, like a little passageway, a proper... This is going to have to be made out of com something completely different. Oh god, not metal railing again. Um, but this isn't da um, dropping sand, so we're okay there. But this will be a sort of like a proper doored type thing. So that'll have to be sort of like down here, I think. 
And then across like this. Does, I think, tend to be five high. So I bet I've not got any doors in my thing at the moment. I've got a portcullis <laughs> left over from the previous. Well, we won't keep it as the portcullis. But that'll be... Um, that'll be where the, the actual door is. That'll be fat sand down there. And we need a background here. I feel like I should make it kind of asteroid base -y. I've got mirror blocks. Oh, that's actually okay. Yeah, because it's... It, yeah, I like that. And we'll have to have some kind of, like, base lighting, I think. Let's put that into there for now. Something that looks very kind of modern and sleek. We have got literally no lights at the moment. But what I'll probably do is have it kind of, like, going up as a hatch sort of thing. Cross like that. Cross like this. And th this is where it'll go up. Like that. Quickly change to morning. Get rid of you. The only trouble is, I mean, if the, if the acid is going to come along here... Yeah, that's a good point, actually. We don't want it to go up in the air just here. What we'll do is have whatever kind of like factory type thing, we'll actually have it here, and the acid can come there and do whatever it wants. So this is just the startings of what we're going to be doing here. So that'll probably we'll actually just continue on like that. And like so. And we'll have a nice little thing there. Let's close. And some lighting and all that, all that sort of stuff. Now, this is only supposed to be an access hatch. It's not supposed to be like a major part of it. It's just so you can actually go down here into the water. I feel like this should actually be acid, really. If things are like drippy, coming down from the ceiling, whatever. But I don't know. I'm not too worried about that. And then we just have to continue doing up up, up here, I guess. Um, I'll, I'll get the um, I'll get the feel for it. And it'll be up there somewhere. God, there's going to be a lot of this. One, two, three, four, five. Like that. And then another one up there, I think. Oops. Oh, God damn it. Vertical's always much harder. My my hand just, like, shakes all over the shop. Trying to actually draw a vertical. Bloody mouse. Bloody mouse. Is that five? That is five. And... One, two, three. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Fine. I'm doing it by eye now. Yep, it's fine. Hmm. It's really hard to see now. Yes, that's all good. And that should be about the right... Well, not quite. I think that just needs to be a little higher. Like that. Which means, probably need one more... Oh, hello. <laughs> Fancy meeting you here, whoever you are. Mr. Cabris Parrot. Whatever the hell. Ah, and those will be the legs, and they'll go up. And it'll all be marvellous. Hmm. So let's just go up here. In fact, and this feels like a good place to stop for now, actually, because there's going to be a lot of busy work I need to do now. But yeah, this is already coming along quite nicely. I've actually built quite a lot more than I expected. Um, well, maybe I was thinking of doing it taller originally, but I actually really like these ratios. It does feel... Let's, um, let's zoom out a bit. Huh, that actually looks okay. And once we fill in the... Um, Fill in the bottom bits around here, and then we'll actually make something of, of the sides of it and everything and put the acid in. I think it'll look rather cool. Uh, and we'll also put the propellers in at some point, you know, just to make it just biz absolutely bloody bizarre. Shame there's no, like, and fans that point downwards, so you can have it looking like it's actually anti gravitying properly. But, hey, whatever. Uh, we'll take what we can get in pretty much Vanilla Starbound. Uh, that, that bug is pissing me off. Take that! That'll teach you for not being a nocturnal bee. Anyway, so we'll stop here. We'll bit this a bit again in part two of our third Seven Wonders of Starbound, if you see what I mean. Uh, thanks for watching. Do check out the Discord if you want to discuss this build and previous builds and all the rest of the stuff and all the rest of my indie coverage and all that. Uh, check out my Patreon if you want to help support the channel and unlock some bonus videos um, and that. So, yep. Uh, thanks for watching again and I'll see you next time.